So for the last several videos, you've been watching me go forward to section eight, even though I had not finished section seven yet, which was the rudder. And the reason for that was because this stuff hadn't arrived yet. Uh, I had missed the fact that I needed this tank sealer stuff. And so uh, I wanted to you know, order that and move on to the next thing so I can continue making progress while I waited for this tank sealer to show up. Well, it showed up. So here I am reading all the instructions again thoroughly because you have to do all steps two through eight before the tank sealer stuff cures. It gives you about two hours. Uh, this whole thing probably took me closer to four to be honest. So by the end, it was pretty hard. But uh, yeah, I went inside, I got the measuring uh, scale and, and you know started putting together this tank sealer. And the first thing you notice about here as you're mixing it is this stuff is nasty. It stinks. It's not fun to work with. It sticks to everything, and it's just generally unpleasant. Um, but, you know, little did I know, now I know, now you do too, uh, it's messy. It is not a clean substance. It, it got everywhere towards the end. In fact, it was covered my hands for days. But once I got it all mixed up, according to the proportion, which is 10 to 1, I applied it to one side and then stuck the piece on with a couple of Clicos and then applied it to the other side before getting the second skin set up. And then it's just a matter of going through and Clicoing down the pieces and getting out the pop rivet gun or blind rivet gun, whatever you want to call it, and riveting those inside pieces. A little bit difficult to see inside there because you kind of got to reach in there a little ways to, to get it, but... Once I uh, figured out what I was supposed to do, it was just a matter of going through each one and, and setting the rivet. Not terribly difficult. At this point, my biggest concern was those Clecos that I keep putting in on the trailing edge. I was worried that I was basically ruining those uh, because that stuff is just nasty. Uh, I've since gone out there. It's it's actually a week later that I'm recording this. Um, and those Clecos are going to be fine. They, it'll just wipe off. It actually just pulls right off because it's, it's like a hard, almost like a rubber at this point. But... Yeah, it's just a matter of going back and doing all of it, and then I had to uh, set it aside. There's a point at which you're just kind of done, you can't proceed, and you'll see me do that here in a minute. The big piece of advice on this one, I would say, is make sure that you know which piece sits on top of which piece and which piece is supposed to be under what piece, etc. It's detailed pretty thoroughly in the instructions as to what goes on top of what. Just make sure you do it, because if you don't, the skin will actually look like it's slightly folded, um, or, or it'll look a little warped. I intentionally put it the wrong way once, and I, did not, I didn't actually pop it or in. I just sat it that way to see what it looked like. And you can kind of tell that, yeah, it, okay, that's wrong. Uh, it, was, it was obvious. But at this point, I am now trying to clean off all the excess goop. Uh, I went through nearly a whole roll of towels trying to get it off. And you can see it down there on the bottom where there's just a big dollop of it that I don't even know how it got on there. And I did the best I can, and just nothing get, helps get this stuff off. I tried using water. I imagine mech or alcohol something might work a little bit, but I didn't want to screw up what was inside, so I didn't use that because I didn't want to leak down there and, and cause problems. So I just wiped it off as best I could with the paper towels. And there was a point at which I was like, okay, I'm done. There's nothing more I can do here. So I'm just going to, you know, tape up and, and rivet these last little bits at the very bottom. And then once that's done, I'm going to set it up to cure. And setting up to cure is about putting some boards and weights across those, uh, those bottom Clicos just so it all sits squarely and then giving it several days. Um, it's, you know, like I said, it's a week later now. So, and this is what it ended up looking like with the weights on it. 